This is a presentation on the ABRSM Performance Grade Singing Exam online. The candidate is required to perform four songs from the syllabus. For grades 1 to 5, the syllabus contains three lists. Each one of these lists has a specific genre or style of music. List A usually has folk, sacred or early music. List B has art songs from the 17th, 18th, 19th and 20th centuries. List C has jazz, musical theater, and a few classic pop songs. The candidate must pick one from each of these lists. For the fourth song, the candidate can pick one more from any of these lists or pick from out of the syllabus. Candidates picking songs from out of the syllabus must confirm with their respective teacher if the song is at par for the grade. Now let's have a look at grade 6 to 8. Grade 6 to 8 has 5 lists. List A has early and sacred music. List B has French and German art songs. List C has English art songs. List D has other language art songs like Czech, Russian and Italian. And List E has jazz musical, classic pop and opera. The candidate must pick three songs from any of this list. For the fourth song, the candidate can pick one more from any of this list or pick from out of the syllabus. Again, candidates picking songs from out of the syllabus must confirm with their respective teacher if the song is appropriate for the grade. How are the exams marked? The total available mark for the exam is 150. The four songs will be marked individually with a maximum of 30 marks for each song. Examiners will use the established criteria to mark the pieces. I will go in detail each of these criteria in the next slide. There will also be a separate 30 marks available for the performance as a whole, which is a wide angle view of the performance. Now let's have a look at each of these marking criteria. Each song is marked based on these five musical criteria. The first one, pitch. It has to do with accuracy and intonation. Time has to do with fluency and flexibility in rhythm. Tone has to do with the timbre or color of the projected voice quality. Shape has to do with using musical details like dynamics, inflection, and word painting. Performance, the last one, has to do with confidence, storytelling, clarity and diction, and communication with the listener. Now, what is performance as a whole? Performance as a whole is basically looking at a different lens to look at the performance after it's finished. It has three of these criteria, communication, interpretation, and delivery. In a gist, communication has to do with between the performer and the listener. So this is how you are communicating with the audience. Interpretation has to do with the performer and the music. How well do you understand the music and the composer's intention? Do you know about the context of the music, the song that you're singing about, the meaning of it, the character of it, the mood of it, etc. Delivery has to do with performer and the instrument. So this is basically how consistent the candidate is able to manage the instrument or the voice and the technical demands of the music. Now a little more detail in this. With communication, the examiners are looking for a well-projected, committed and a strong performance that also shows conviction. Another factor is how you pace or sequence the program in this case um, teachers will help your teachers will help you sequence your song based on period style or even on the basis of how confident you are in each song interpretation not only has to do with how aware you are with the style of music but also considering how aware you are with the accompaniment in this case the piano the examiners are looking for a well-blended and balanced ensemble sound 
with delivery, it's all about how competent you are with your instrument, your voice, how you are effectively able to control the technical demands of the song. The overall basis of the assessment looks like this. You have the performance, pitch, time, tone, shape, and everything that surrounds it is the performance as a whole, communication, interpretation, and delivery. What are the three things that you need for the exam? You need to wear a formal dress, you need a piano accompaniment, and you need the sheet music. How to record or film the performance? First, find a plain backdrop. Then, make sure you have good or adequate lighting. Now you need to find a recording device. Most phone cameras are now capable of recording 720p and above. And then, find a stable position. You can use a tripod. If you don't have a tripod, you can use a table, stack books on top, and you can, you know, place it uh, at a stable position to film the performance. Be at least six or seven feet away from the performer so that um, you know, from at least from the waist up to the head is visible. If it's head to toe, that's also fine. All four songs should be performed in one take. There should be no edits or cuts in between, or the video as a whole. Uh, the minimum recording qu quality should be 720p. It's not advisable to record 120p and above because the file size becomes too large to upload. And lastly, it's preferable to shoot this in landscape mode. Now, when you're recording the performance, first of all, the candidate should show the program sheet to the camera and hold it for about five to six seconds. And then the candidate would introduce themselves, what grade they are doing, what subject they are doing. After which the candidate would introduce each song before performing. And once the performance is done, the candidate should thank and bow. Here is a video example of the frame and the introduction. My name is Nadia Ann Thomas and I will be performing my grade 5 ABIs in singing exam. The first piece that I will be singing is My Ship by Kurt Weil, followed by It Was a Lover in His Last by Henry Murley, Ebe by Ernest Chasson, and Once Upon a Dream by Frank Wildhorn and Leslie Brickus. This is an example of a mark form where an examiner has given their feedback. You can see in the first one that the examiner has picked on vowel shapes, a sense of musical line, pitch, tone color and in the second song you can see the examiner has picked on the character, the vibrancy of the tone, how the dynamics has helped to, conv to convey the story. So this is a typical example of how a mark form would look like. This is the end of the presentation. I hope this has been resourceful. Contact the office admin if you have any queries.